with your host and professional. Recently, we had a chance to go to the SN Battle Reports in sunny Gibraltar. The SN Battle Reports are a group of like-minded hobbyists who really enjoy the hobby and produce amazing old-school White Dwarf Battle Reports. Every year they hold two events called No Retreat, but this year they went bigger with the SNGT. So, Wooden Spoon Wargaming mobilised, and off to Gibraltar we went. The team consisted of myself, Matt, Sean and David. We're old school friends who really love the hobby. And this is our journey. And here's my list. Imperial Knights, House Crest, Questor Mechanicus. I decided to take some punch, and with that my Warlord was in the Knight Castigator. Headsman's Mark gave me more damage against bigger units. Second off, Knight Crusader, Iron Bulwark, Endless Fury, and a Knight Gallant for some extra close combat punch because the extra attack and hitting on 2 plus is amazing. And last off, another Knight Crusader, this time with a rapid fire battle gun. So, the journey to Gibraltar started. It started off in a taxi which looked like a, a prison van, which is quite an experience. First off, airport, Manchester. From there, flew down to Heathrow in London. Not an eventful flight, Van Hower. And then was a nice flight down to Gibraltar from Heathrow. This certainly is eventful, especially the landing, which is like the runway is very limited, but the view you get. I'm sure you can imagine, and, and as you say now, it's pretty amazing. As you fly around the rock, then come down. And we arrived, and from then, it's quick registration, and then the fun began with game one. Game one started against Scott and his ultramarines, consisting of Gulliman, two repulsors, three units of primary intercessors, a couple of hell blasters and some characters. This was a bit of a mismatch for Scott as I managed a full tilt, my castigator turn one, straight into his repulsor, and even managed a roll of 12, so I negated the minus two to charges. His other repulsor was severely weakened by firepower in turn one and died like his brother in turn two. I managed to kill Gulliman twice, after he managed to stand up with four wounds, which was quite annoying, so my knight turned around and stepped on him again, and again. Game two of the tournament against the awesome Toby and his custodies list. One of those lists where I looked at it and was like, oh no, I really don't want to face that. But I did, and it was such a fun game against an awesome guy. The mission meant that the objective was in the centre of the table, and it was bad for me because... You couldn't take in vulnerable saves within it. So I had to push my knights into the centre to claim the objective, to claim the primary points. But at the same time, I was losing knights because I lost my vulnerable save and his dreadnoughts really, really packed a punch. Game 3 kicked off and I faced the second list, which I didn't want to face. And that was Demon Summoning List. Basically had 1,300 points and then a lot of points to play with to summon. I've included his list in the photos you're just seeing now. And turn one basically pulled out a load of exalted flamers and shot me off the board. It was really tough for me because at the same time he was scoring all the objectives and I lost 32 0. But it was a fun game against a really, really tough army. Game four, what to say about game four against the awesome Philippe? It was basically the case of the list I should have taken using my knights against the list I did take. Also taking Hell's Crest, but this time. He optimised it and didn't take the rule of cool, and I lost the game basically turn one. I needed an eight, I needed an eight for a charge, and rolled double one. So my warlord was stuck in the middle, doing absolutely nothing, and then got shot off the board. He then moved around, claimed objectives, and picked off knight one by one until I basically couldn't score. But this was a game where I learned a lot about my army, and. In tournaments like this, you need to optimise. Optimization is the key. Thanks, Philippe, mate. You're great. So the Sunday morning kicked off Game 5 against Manolo. And it's amazingly painted Space Wolf. So I'll post a 
link to his Instagram below. It was a fun game against an awesome guy, but the terrain really restricted the movement of my knights. And basically, he managed to get more objectives, and I took the primary on kill points. So, this fun game ended in a draw. One of the only few that were at this tournament, but it was fun, and I really like Find the Wolf Cavalry now. Game 6 finished the tournament, and obviously finished off me remembering to take photos of the games. So, facing Sean against from Twisted Dice with his Death Watch, I got outmaneuvered, and in a Maelstrom game, yeah, it's really tough with only 4 models against uh, 50 plus Death Watch with stratagems to really, really hurt Lords of War. So that's how the tournament finished. And that was it. Six games, two and a half days later, we had a finishing point. My two wins, one draw, and two losses were good for me, more than I expected. Sean did amazingly well with four wins and two losses. David did better than he expected with two wins and four losses. The SN team were the guys that awarded the prizes for the best painted army, and this went to Josh Hall and his amazing Eldar army. I was lucky to see this a few times, and Sean even managed to get a game against it, which he lost, so it was very good for us. Here are some more shots of the other best armies. Enjoy. Phone battery recharged, it was time to get some selfies with some awesome people I met during the week. We even made the local Gibraltar paper with me, top photo, strutting my stuff down the centre aisle. I can't thank the team at SN Battle Reports enough, and it was just an amazing experience. Hellstrong Wargaming did all the live streaming, great guys to chat to, and all my opponents as well. It was one of those tournaments where there was never any bad atmosphere or slow playing or other things which you hear about the tables were amazing the people were amazing the experience was amazing if you got a chance i'll see you there next year everyone loves a good bit of merchandise and the sn guys really pull through with this picked myself a t-shirt two sets of dice and a scoring tray which was amazing and my bag got stolen. One of the main things that drew me to this and uh, pushed me to do my first ever tournament was the tables. SN Battle Reports are well known for the beautiful array of tables that they use for their battle reports online. And at the GT, every single one of them was on show and more. Next year, there's going to be even more tables as they go up to 100 people. So sit back and uh, watch the tables unfurl in front of your eyes.
as a team, we really haven't spent much time together the last couple of years due to work commitments and family and moving abroad, so we spent an extra week in Gibraltar after the tournament, which culminated in going around the rock, going inside the rock as well, and then a trip to the SM Battle Report studio, which, as has been commented on before, I did have a slight fanboy moment and uh, squealed like a little girl. But such an amazing experience seeing all the armies and the cases and then playing against the armies. I've played against Julian and his amazing Eldar army. They've played against Pardo and his Crimson Fists, which are on the recent Battle of Bought Online, and Sean faced off against Shaggy's Imperial Guard, which was good for us because Sean got beat, so we were both happy. So thanks for watching this and I hope you have enjoyed it for our first video that we've made as a channel. Final thoughts from this would be basically for a competitive event, roller cool doesn't cut it. Take more photos and a power bank for my phone definitely. Read the mission pack before you actually go and take comfortable shoes because six games on wooden floors really hurts your knees. Are we going next year? Yes, definitely for sure. The Spoons will return. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe if you like it.